In this tutorial, we're going to go over how the Paradise City Press website uh, posts to Facebook upon, upon publishing to the WordPress site. So if you see here, I have a post that we have from the blog of the superintendent. And once I press publish on the website, it will automatically publish to our Facebook page. Uh, I'm going to go through the steps of installing the plugin, connecting it via uh, API developer apps uh, on Facebook, and putting in our uh, information so WordPress can connect with Facebook. You might find yourself doing this several times throughout the year. Facebook is really, uh, unfortunately, bad at... Uh, connecting or once they make a tweak within their APIs, it will screw up everything for uh, some of the apps that you have. So you, you might find yourself doing this several times in the year. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is look up the plugin which we need for WordPress. And that's going to be Facebook Publish. There was, there, it used to be Facebook Publish, but now it's Facebook page publish to. I'm going to search for that. And right down here, Facebook page publish to is the one that we want. It might be uh, at the time that you're watching this, publish three, publish four. Uh, you'll usually see that the ratings get lower uh, if there's a new version out that's solved some of the API problems that Facebook um, generates when they tweak the APIs. So we're going to hit OK. Now it's installing that plugin. And activate that plugin. And once this plugin is activated, what we want to do is go to Settings, Facebook Page Publish, and here we're going to see uh, a request for connecting to your uh, your blog to Facebook. Essentially what we need to do is we need to make an application that gives us an API key and an API key secret. So let's go over to Facebook. You need a Facebook account for this. Um, so you need to first be an administrator of a page. Uh, I'm Jeremy Whalen, administrator of these pages here. And you can see that Paradise City Press is one of them. Uh, you need to be on your page to access the developer applications here. So you can see that I have some here. Uh, and if I go to create app, I can create a new one. These are all of them. You can see that I have a lot of them here. Uh, it, it's screwed up so many times that I've gotten into the habit of when I create a new app, the app name is either NCTV for our Northampton TV site or for this PCP Paradise City Press and then the date in which I'm making the app 2013 06 uh, it's actually 18th uh, and then it's the same exact thing but no capital letters here so PCP 2013 06 18 And it's telling me that I can't use numbers. So PCP June 18th. And if I hit OK or continue, it takes me to a CAPTCHA. Hopefully I get this right the first time. And now I can see that I have a new app that's created and I have some stuff here. I can see my app ID and I, my app secret, but we first have to put in a couple of things. The first thing we want to do is put in our app domain here. We want to put this in with just uh, the name of our website, not HTTP. We're, we're going to do that in a second. ParadiseCityPress.org. 
We also want to disable sandbox mode. It, when it's in sandbox mode, it's only visible to admins, developers, and testers. We want this uh, available to, to everyone here. And we're also going to go to website with Facebook login. This is where we have the HTTP forward slash forward slash www dot paradisecitypress.org. And once we have all this, we can hit save changes. And now you can see that this app is live. We want to take this app ID and copy it. Go back to our Word, WordPress uh, settings, Facebook page publish, and paste the ID. And then paste, copy and paste the app secret. Once I do that, I want to hit save changes. And it's actually going to show me this grant access button. It says some or all access permissions are missing. Essentially, right now is the is the point where we have to hit grant access. And once we do that, it's going to ask us if it's okay for fa for this app to use our public profile. We want to say okay. And would you like it to post to your friends on your behalf? Again, it's going to be posting from our page on our behalf, so we can say okay. And it would like to manage our pages. We can hit OK. And once we give it all the correct permissions, it's now happy. We have green, green, and green. If there's any red here, we have a problem. So we'll have to usually what at that point, I'll just delete and start over again, uh, creating a new Facebook app as well. So now that we have uh, access granted, we can see that it's now found all my pages here. So I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to click Paradise City Press, and now it's automatically found our profile ID. It's going to publish all of our posts by default, and that's good. And what it's going to do right now, it's going to take the Gravatar, but we want to take... Um, when it goes to Facebook, it's going to pull the picture that we have from our actual post. And that's right here. You can set it to have a default picture. So if you wanted to just have our logo, you could just put default and then upload our logo right here. But I like to have the picture different every time. If we hit save changes. Everything's all set. Now what you'll notice is when you go to posts, and I'm just going to go to any random post, it's going to have uh, in the right under where you would publish, it's going to have a box that's clicked that says publish to Facebook. If you leave that clicked and you hit publish, it's going to automatically push that uh, push that content to over to Facebook. Once this loads, we can take a look at it. Right here, I guess it's over. So publish to Facebook. And once you hit update, then it will go live on the blog, and then it will also go live or get pushed to Facebook.